So here is the periodic table found in the IB chemistry data booklet. Of course, copyright here belongs to the IB. And we need to be aware of various structural features and names of the periodic table, starting off with groups and periods. The groups are the vertical columns of elements named from 1 to 18. And they provide us with information as to the number of electrons in the valence energy level. Periods, on the other hand, are horizontal rows in the periodic table. They are named from 1 to 7 and tell me which outer energy level is occupied by electrons. The periodic table can also be divided into four blocks and the name of each block tells me about the sublevels where electrons are found in atoms. We have the S block, the P block, the D block, and finally the F block. As mentioned earlier, these, the, the, the names of these blocks relate to the S, P, D and F sublevels where electrons can be found. We can also divide the periodic table into metals, non-metals and metalloids. There are also a few specific names for groups or blocks on the periodic table that we need to be aware of. Firstly, the alkali metals are group 1, excluding hydrogen, which of course is a non-metal. The halogens are the group 17 elements. Group 18 is known as the noble gases. The transition metals is pretty much the whole of the D block in the middle of the periodic table. You'll notice that group 12 hasn't been highlighted here for reasons that you'll probably see later in the course. And finally, we have the lanthanoids and actinoids down in the F block. Although these two names sound a bit confusing, they actually come from the first element in the respective rows. You can see lanthanum uh, is element number 57 and actinum is element number 89, which is where these two rows of elements would fit in if we had a bit more space for our periodic table. However, it's much neater to keep the F block elements down at the bottom so that we don't disrupt the group numbers. And that's it. Those are the details we need to know about the periodic table. Hopefully this video is of some help.